Hi, this is Melanie of Pardesi Reviews, and I'm joined today with Kathy of Cinemondo Podcast. <laughs> so Yay. excited. So if you didn't know, I did a collaboration with Kathy on her channel last month, and, mm -hmm. and we talked about all different kinds of yes. movies, and she's like, "I'm Kathy said, I'm a newbie. Can you make some suggestions? I made so many suggestions. So many. She's like, can you send it to me an email? Because I know. I need you to make a priority list, because... <laughs> Know where to go with these hundreds of films you said in the podcast. <laughs> but then we were talking about Patan coming out, and I said, mm -hmm. well, you should watch Om Shanti Om, because that was Deepika Padukone's uh, debut film, and that was, you know, her very first film was with Shah Rukh, and here they are appearing again. And I so I just shared this with Kathy before we started recording, but this is what I look at every time that I'm recording. I have this poster on the wall opposite where I'm sitting normally. I love that. Down. So I love it. I just love the whole so kitsch of the poster and the whole thing. You know, I just it's love great. it. It's a great title treatment. As a poster designer, I would say that's a great title treatment. Right, because it definitely gives you the whole feeling of how this is retro, this is, yep. you know, 70s, the whole thing. <laughs> and I am a long time, whoops, it's upside down. I am a long time Sharuk. Watch wow, the one that got that. me into it. This is the pillow that is normally behind me. Um, a scene from DDLJ. So where did you get that pillow like that? I That's ordered amazing. it. I ordered the pillowcase from India. <laughs> so I love I that. Saw wow. It. And that's a beautiful design. I love the graphic treatment yeah, of that scene. So great. It's, you know, it's a graphic of the most famous scene at the end on the train. So yeah. I have seen, I think with his recent cameo in Brahmastra, we're up to 59 Shahrukh Khan films. Wow. So Patan will be my 60th. Wow. Um, so amazingly, I haven't seen all of his films. I've kind of, That's I'm holding almost. out there's, I'm holding out there's <laughs> one where he's in Shakti, the power. It, it's sort of like, like it, there was this drought, right? For the last few years, yeah. he hasn't yeah. put out any films. And sort of like, if I watch the last one, then it'll be it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> then you, you'll have to wait like the rest of us. Like, what's the next one? Although re-watching Om Shanti Om for this was fantastic because I haven't watched it, I think, in a number of years all the way through. Yeah. And it's such a love letter to the movies. It it's is. so great. And it was so fun. And it also made me think, like, when's the last time I have had this much fun sitting in a theater watching a Bollywood movie. I'll just exactly. be honest. Like, it's yeah. kind of, ugh. you know, mm -hmm. not that there haven't been some good films, but they've had a lot of darkness. Um, yeah. And so I'm really hopeful with Patan, just the songs that have come out. Yeah. You know, it's going to be, obviously, it's a very different kind of film. It's going to be an action film. That's yeah. fine. You know, yeah. but like, give us some fun. Okay. Give some joy. The joy right. that you used to have. <laughs> <laughs> so Om Shanti Om, um, I think is a great film. We were just talking about mm -hmm. it right before we started recording in that it's a film that you can enjoy on one level as a newbie coming in and not knowing <laughs> anything. Okay, That's right. But for someone like me, every time I watch it, I notice something else. I catch another inside joke. Love I spot another cameo. It's it has so many layers, so many Easter eggs in it, yeah. and it's so it's especially fun for rewatching. That's and what I want to hear about because I don't, did not know this. And the soundtrack, oh, yeah, yep. <laughs> so good. I mean, it's one of my favorite soundtracks. It um, really is. Uh, Vishal Shakar is this um, songwriting team, and then the lyrics are by um, Javed Akhtar, by the way, who is. Um, Farhan Akhtar, Farhan Akhtar is in Zoya Akhtar. Zoya Akhtar, the film director, Farhan is also an actor. That's their father who wrote well, the lyrics. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's a very you know, <laughs> close-knit <laughs> close knit community. Okay, close so knit, yes. the, the director of this film is a woman. That was another reason why I recommended I it. that. Farah Khan, mm -hmm. she is one of the most famous choreographers in Bollywood, okay, so oh. she she has done so many films, and she has a very close relationship with Shah Rukh Khan because she choreographed choreographed some of his most famous song sequences. So um, she had a, lo a love of Bollywood from the seventies, and setting this as a reincarnation story, which okay. again is like an old Hollywood Bollywood story to have a mm -hmm. reincarnation story. Oh, okay, but it allowed her to set half of the film 
in the 70s on movie sets <laughs> showing, so kind of, you know, just all of these uh, and setting Sharuk as what they're calling an extra as a junior artist. That's the, the name of yes. what a junior artist. Oh, but junior artist. Open, okay. Yeah. So that's when okay. he's like, I'm a junior artist. That's exactly there. They don't use the word extra. They use the word junior artist. So I like that better. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> a little more important. Nice. Yeah, you're just extra, you know. Like. Yeah, you're extra. <laughs> Get out of here. Your background. Right. So <laughs> this was Farah Khan's second film. Her first film was Main Huna and um, also starring Sharuk. Okay. And um, so that one was both set at a college, but also was had action. It was a mix of elements. Okay. <laughs> But so this one, I think, you know, she proved that she was a success with her first film. And then again, Sharuk being her, they worked on this together. And if you'll notice, Gori Khan is listed as a producer. Okay. You watch the end credits, which is, again, as a Farrah Khan um, signature to have all of her crew, basically, including the accountants and everybody in the end credit sequence. I love that <laughs> so much. I thought that was right. the coolest like yeah. just, just really affectionate, great like scene yeah. because you're like these people never get get seen right. or heard. They're not like, not real people. Right. They're just in the scroll. You know. That I know. Awesome. I just loved watching all so of the, gr the grips and, all... and everybody dancing down the red carpet. guy's on his phone or you know or whatever he was doing, looking at right. something. Right. Right. But it was like he's so, like, I'm doing my work here. <laughs> well, Gori Khan gets a glamour right. shot as she walks down in the credits, and just so you know, that is Shahrukh Khan's wife. So she oh. is often listed as a producer on right. their films, oh, and okay. his special effects company, Red Chili's Entertainment, again did the oh. special effects for this oh. film as well. So oh. yes, Farrah Khan, you know, so it's definitely a partnership together. Yeah, for instance, cool. Arjun Rumpal, who plays the villain really didn't want to be a villain like he's been the lead he's been the lead actor in many other films yeah. and it took Sharuk like really strong arming him with Farah that's be so like funny. no and then he wasn't playing it like evil enough oh ah, that's so funny <laughs> like no no you gotta Aww. give us more that's <laughs> really more <funny>. evil <laughs> that's so cute so I mean to I me he's that. so perfect in it and it's so just perfect. kind of wild to think about how he was resisting, like, no, yeah. I'm a hero. I don't want to do, but it's you're with it. You wish I were come. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So all the, the way. All the right. way. Right. Yeah. So the, the opening of the film, again, it just begins the love letter to the film. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, again, because Farah has such a relationship in the industry and also because Sharuk has such a relationship yeah. in the industry, the doors that they were able to open, <sighs> the cameos, like the cameo list in Wikipedia is insane. Okay. That <laughs> one dance scene with, I mean, yeah. I was like, wait, is that, oh, what, what, I'm starting to recognize people. And I literally rewound that like four or five times and looked like yeah. he's a wiki and I was trying to, okay, there's that person. And there's that person. Right, right. And, and not only that, uh, so that's the song Duwangi Duwangi, what mm -hmm. we're talking about uh, it, um, it after the awards ceremony. And it, it, I mean, you can't even think of an equivalent in a Hollywood no. film. No. Of, I, I mean, of having that many stars in one sequence like and the so i was amused if you notice there's a billboard in the second half of the film where right. sharuk has a tag Hauer um watch right right so, i mean he is he is a spokes uh model you know for for those oh. ads anyway right so oh that's like that all was, meta <laughs> but everyone who participated in the duwangi duwangi song sequence received a blackberry and a watch <laughs> oh my <laughs> god <laughs> Like, you don't have to do it for free just for me you, know, you don't me have to do it for free so <laughs> that's hilarious oh my god but i mean there's people that were supposed to be there who had to bow out for scheduling reasons for who are these people want, who want well she wanted amitabh bachan so yeah. his son abhishek is in the awards sequence the doom okay. cameo he's okay. not <laughs> He's done three Doom movies. I was I was That's on the floor laughing about it being Doom Five. That's really <laughs> you know? funny. Oh, um, so it's his. Sure. So um, Amitabh was supposed to be in, begged off, and then you know. So there's a few like she wanted all the three cons. So Salman Khan is in that <laughs> sequence. <laughs> But Amir Khan bowed out for scheduling reasons, but she wanted to try to get all the three cons oh, in, in one song sequence, which would have been amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> scheduling. <laughs> But all that song sequence, I mean, we're skipping ahead. But anyway, that song yeah. sequence, each 
of Sharuk's heroines that comes on. Like they're, you know, like from mm -hmm. a previous movie, you know, they're doing the nose thing with Kajol that's yeah. from Kuch Kuch Hotahai. So they're doing little bits that. or some of the older stars that they are there are doing dance moves from some of their most famous. <laughs> you can hear um, there's a, even a song cues like there's sort of a electronic boom, 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 like it sounds like robot mm -hmm. sound yeah. at one. And so that's Raj Dikant, who mm -hmm. has a very famous um, movie called Robot. <laughs> I remember so, that trailer. Nuts. <laughs> right. Insane trailer. But that's what that, like even the music cues to um, clue you amazing. into those stars. Oh but God. it's so many different co-stars of Sharuk. I'm just like, it's amazing. Like that is my yardstick for how far I've come. Like, right yeah. now, like, oh, oh, you, <laughs> <Look at him. laughs> you know, so how many people I recognize in that insane song sequence that took six days to complete oh, filming. My God. Because, now, the other thing that you should know is Farrah Khan during the filming of this movie was pregnant with triplets. Oh, and, my God. And so she had to, between takes, oh, go and throw up. Like, oh, she was deathly ill thing. with being pregnant with triplets. Oh, <laughs> and movie making will not stop. You have to stay. You have to do it. Yeah. You can't stop. It's scheduled. You cannot. You can't. You right. can't put a pause. You got to keep going. So she knew. Yeah. And she did. Yeah. And she was manning the whole show, you know, and not only was she directing this film, but she choreographed all of those dance numbers oh as well, gosh. because that's her signature thing as well. Right. She's so, like choreographing like one moment, please run out, come back. <laughs> You know, God. so it's amazing. It's amazing. So anyway, amazing. so Farah appears in the opening scene. So okay. I'm not sure if you caught that. No. I so didn't. the opening scene is from the movie Cars, okay. K-A-R-Z. And so Rishi Kapoor is dancing and then Shah Rukh is in the audience and, and yep. fantasizes that it's him on stage yep. dancing that. And then when he sort of wakes up, the woman next to him hits him and he's like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and they're fighting over the jacket that gets thrown out. Oh, that's really that funny. is Farrah Khan, the director of the film. That's hilarious. Oh my God. That's so funny. I love so that. Again, oh again that's one of the, just the first Easter so cute. eggs. <laughs> oh my God. So many. But there's so, so many. So, wow. so the song, that song was Om Shanti Om. So that's a frequent thing in Bollywood mm -hmm. is they will take a song title from an older film and then that becomes a new film title. Oh. Oh, interesting. So you'll see that over and over and over again that happens. Right. Um, so when Sharuk, again, he's a junior artist and he <laughs> talks to um, Dipika, the star, her billboard, right? Like he has this whole monologue yeah. talking to her. That is an homage to it's, they made it Dreamy Girl. I mean, it's Dream Girl was the film starring Hema Malini. Oh so God. interesting. And so Dipika was modeling. The way she carried herself so much. I, I have not seen Dream Girl, but it's modeled on that famous film. That's and the weird. whole look, the whole look of her hair and the whole thing. And <laughs> <laughs> right? Like it was that hair was amazing. So funny. And so um I loved, I mean, it's 2007, but I mm -hmm. love the whole VFX of putting in the old film stars yeah. with Dipika. Yeah. Well, so, it's, I love that it's basically a love letter to filmmaking. Yes. And then it perfect. brings in filmmaking. Yeah. And it brings in all the foundation that makes people love movies because people who make movies also love movies. So I love that sort of wrapping itself around itself in a weird way. <laughs> it's like, right. and, and it's, then just that beautiful Bollywood style, that gorgeous colors in the beginning yeah. and yeah. just that sort of innocence in a way, cause they're making yeah. Bollywood movies and and he was so hammy and like, right. I'm yeah. an actor, you know, he was right. like, ah. and I'm like, wow, I, I, I thought the Sharuk would be a little bit of a better actor, but I like him. And then you realize, oh, that was part of the character. And right. then when you cut to the, you know, when right. You, it's part um, of the whole style. And like when we're introduced so to funny. his mother played by Kieran Kerr, yeah. she is modeling the kind of style of acting from these seventies melodramas, so you know, good. So, so, you know, I mean, when there are straight on moments and then you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you yeah, like, ah. yeah. And one of those moments I felt like was he's all hammy, hammy. Yeah. And then they're on a film set and he is uh, supposed to be an extra with a big mustache and just saying, <laughs> run, you know, <laughs> <That's so> terrible. 
And so that's, ba- they mentioned it in the film, but it's based on a real life thing that happened. Famous oh, actress no. Nargis was filming a film and a field was set on fire and she was trapped oh. and no one else was really realizing that she was actually trapped in real life. I thought she was acting. And Sunil Dutt ran, ran oh. in there and rescued her. Wow. She had been with another man. She ended up marrying Sunil Dutt. Oh. <laughs> well, how can you say no to the man who saved your life? I right. Mean. So, so they mentioned it in the film, but I'm just trying <laughs> to let you know that that's like film legend lore, right? True story based on a true story. And so they use that, you know, to, to be that that's how Sharuk and Deepika connect, you know, cause that she's this so huge great. star and he's just this, but when he runs onto the field, you feel like, like, okay, he's just like turning it like he's yep. natural. Like it's yeah. just full on. Right. Yeah. And it's not all campy campy in nope. that moment. That was great. So, um, I think Sunil that was one of the people that she interacts with in that Doom Tana song, which yeah. we did that song for my Bollywood dance class. And let me tell you, it's not easy doing those dance You do a Bollywood like, dance class? I did. I love it. <laughs> oh my God, that has to be so hard. That I is an intense like, song. Yeah. I'm just oh, telling you. <laughs> so, That's impressive. <laughs> I love the badminton part of that song. So here's another trivia for you. Okay. Deepika Puttakone was a badminton champion and her what? father was one of the top five badminton players oh. in the world. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So, oh, but I God. love the sounds of that part of the song. It sounds like, you know, that sound yes. of the, 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 the bird pop hitting yes. the, the rackets. I and love that part. So cute. One of my favorite parts. That's so so all of, yeah, all the music pretty much in this, I absolutely adore. Um, was, uh, what was your favorite song or was one of the ones? It that would really have to be the, to the song with all the cameos because I wasn't expecting it. What was the name of the song in those cameras? Diwangi, D- 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 okay. which basically like, we're crazy. Yeah, we're okay, crazy. Good. I was like, uh, in my, I'm trying to read my notes going, where did I say? I love that because I didn't expect it. And then when I started, and it, it kind of magically, I started recognizing the people coming from everywhere. And I'm like, well, hold on, hold on. This is something happening here. And I, it was fun to see it kind of develop because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't expect it. So seeing all these people coming in, I'm like, how many of these people have I missed? That's why I'm like, let me rewind. I had to look at it again. And I just love the joy in it and the yeah. just the, the the gratuitous like stars and more stars and and it just went on and on and on. I know it goes on and, on and, and on I was and like on. I just could not get enough of that. So I mean there were so many great songs, but I think because that one kind of worked a little bit of a magic spell that I, yeah. I liked that one the best. I think this was one of my very early Shah Rukh Khan movies that I saw, and I remember really loving that song because that was one I could sing along to, right? That's it's true. An, it's an easy English chorus. <laughs> That's right. Maybe that's another reason I liked it. I understood it. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, mo- most of the yeah. I mean, I go from different times. There's different songs. Um, mm. This the sad song when he has his heartbreak. I love that. Oh yeah. It's so filmy, right? And yeah. that you know the leaves are blowing, and the you know, and then you realize he's walking through a film set. Like again, yeah, I, love, you know? I love. See, that's why I love movies about it, filmmaking because they always pull those tricks where you're never sure what's real or not real. Like someone's having a moment, and then they'll go cut. And you're like, oh, this whole time I thought it was real. <laughs> I love that. But I love so how funny. he's actually like not the campy, like he he yeah, he's very serious, and everything around him is the campy care chaos, that. right? I love I kind of love that. Yeah, this is also a film that's an homage to singing in the rain, I think, too. Yeah, you know, it has some scenes that um yep. are similar to that too. So it's okay. not just a love letter to uh Bollywood, it's a to all filmmaking, which is really yeah. fun. Yeah, um, totally. <clears throat> but I love uh, Arjun Rampal. Like, I don't think there could be anybody more suited for that 70s <laughs> look. Like, I, I, <laughs> I have a note here going, I love the wardrobe. 70s, yes. Because like that's where you're just setting yourself free. I mean, the plaid suit, like just, oh my God. And even like the women that, you know, you think, 
in all these movies, they're always the ones super dressed up and yeah. you know flamboyant. But in the seventies, in this movie, everybody was flamboyant. Right. I yeah. just loved that. It was but so just the good. colors, right? The oh, colors yeah. of her saris were so good. Yeah. So she that. had a separate designer just for her clothes, as Mahesh Mahotra, who you'll see. Top films, top women. He's okay. one of the top designers. Okay. And then Karen Johar, famous film director, but also he worked on the costumes, helping design some of the costumes for this film as well. Gosh. And the production design, like some of the wallpaper, I'm like, my parents still have wallpaper ah. like that. They're upstairs. Like, I mean, Authentic. it's just... <laughs> yeah, I was just like, it, it won awards just for the production design because I just felt like, it was ma amazing. <laughs> Incredible. And yeah. and also I liked the the shift because we start, I don't know if I'm jumping ahead, but no, go ahead. when we start, it's the seventies and everything's very innocent and flamboyant and there's a the color and he's super hammy and silly. And, and then you have the, the moment, the big, you know, death yeah. scene. And then, then we're in the present day where I feel like all of a sudden everything got very serious and he was a totally different person, literally and figuratively and acting right. wise. So right. then I feel like, is he kind of just playing himself now because he was like super rich going from car to helicopter, blah, blah, whatever he was doing. And I'm like, this seems like what he's really like. Like he has this yeah. kind of a life. And I, I, I think he's that. definitely was riffing on his real yeah. life. Like, yeah, and and just like all the rich you know. actor thing, you know, so, <laughs> so funny. And I love that because he was kind of just, then he kind of became like kind of an asshole. And, and yeah. I was like, well, this is, this is about right for present day. <laughs> I mean, uh, I absolutely love the Film Fair Awards scene. Mm -hmm. So, by yeah. the way, the guy that's the presenter mm -hmm. is Rishi Kapoor, who was the singer actor from the very first scene of the film. So that was a oh, fun call. That's back. nice. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> and then the how how Shahrukh was uh, his character. Okay, was nominated for multiple films, yeah. and they <laughs> the sweaters and the the Swiss Alps. <laughs> I was dying. So cute. I so was dying how they were spoofing oh. real Shere Khan movies with them. yes, and then just um, so you know cute. the other people who did those cameos, you know, for their yeah. fake movies. <laughs> <laughs> the, the fake movies within the movie that's about a fake movie that's a fake movie. Oh, <laughs> so many levels yeah. to this. Oh, I mean, Akshay Kumar doing a martial arts film, and then you had Abhishek <laughs> doing Doom Five. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I kept thinking, how many of these are I missing? Because, you know, you think they're just setting up this funny scene. And then you realize later some big actor was in it that I totally missed because they look a lot younger and I wasn't looking for it. Yeah. So this is definitely a, like watch it more than once. And fortunately, I've watched enough. Like this is new. Like SRK's movies are new to me. Right. So I actually recognize more people because I was watching other people's movies before I got to this. So at least I recognize some of the cameos when I saw them. Like I wasn't right. so new so i did like that i was aware when those were happening but now yeah. i'm sort of starting to see the the, the peel sharuk because so, he's he's got yeah. this sort of puppy dog yeah and this sort mm -hmm. of innocence even when he's kind of being a jerk there's he brings yeah. this sort of vulnerability i don't know how actors do that <laughs> it just kind of blows me away i know he has the secret sauce right he does like, no, he does. i mean i i tried to explain it to people and like i don't know he he is definitely he's sort of like the gateway drug for a lot of people yeah. um, from the Western world to get mm -hmm. into Bollywood films yeah. because he just has this crossover appeal. Like when you see him, you're like, this is a star. Yeah. Like yes. who is, who is this? You know, when you say that star. because I saw um, Burmastra mm -hmm. had not seen any SRK movies at this point. So when he comes on the yeah. scene as the scientist, I was like, Oh, who's this? Like instantly, the movie right. kind of came alive for a second because, yeah. you know, remember Kapoor is cute and everything. He's not wasn't yeah. the best actor in this. I'm not slamming him. It was just it wasn't required. But when you get into SRK, all yeah. of a sudden you're looking at this guy going, this character. Was I was really bummed he wasn't in it more, but he totally dominated <laughs> that film. I Best know. Me in me the movie. Really, me and the rest of the world. Like, right? Like, like who is this he guy? Gives, he gives <laughs> just this cameo, and it's the to me, it was the best part of the entire movie. Very like, much. I just best. wanted. I just wanted more. Yeah. And there's Easter eggs about that because his his name in that film is the name of a. He plays a NASA scientist in a film called Swades. <laughs> and so that was the same. He picked the same. They had that. the same name in Brahmastra. But That's yeah, great. Fun, Ranbir Kapoor, star of uh, Brahmastra, is Rishi Kapoor's son. So okay, 
So Rishi Kapoor from the opening song of Om Shanti Om and the presenter, famous oh film actor God. from the 70s, oh. and that's his son. My head is exploding <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh my god it's oh. yeah it's like Crazy. if you look uh beth loves bollywood i think it is on twitter she has a whole chart like oh, a family tree chart like oh, that's amazing. and when ranbir kapoor's uh child was just born like she's like gotta update the chart <laughs> got put the oh, yeah. <laughs> my watch just went off the series she, like what do you want to see I, yeah she has this whole family tree which i've literally poured over because i'm like oh. wait who is married to what <laughs> i feel like i should have that up on my computer anytime i'm watching an indian film and go okay let me check this whole oh there's that connection <laughs> I get it now. But, yeah. you know, so it was cool that even when I didn't know who he was before, because it was kind of early on, I got it. Like, I know, because he just out. has that, he just he has radiated. that screen quality. He, really he just has it. He has he that does. movie star it factor. Yeah. Um, and, and he was the one that, you know, I saw his movie first and I was like, wait, who, who is this guy? Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. else can I see about this yeah. from this guy? So 59 movies later, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and so, counting. <laughs> so the the award scene, the film fair. So yeah. the film fairs are not exactly equivalent to the Oscars. The film fair is a magazine. Okay. So it's not like an academy voting, but it is mm -hmm. kind of besides the National Film Awards in India, right. it is kind of the most prestigious Ooh award ceremony so another fun trivia is that um you know right before the awards ceremony scene there's some red carpet interviews Ooh. Farrakhan literally went to the film for awards the real ones and and filmed that on the red carpet and just was what? like say this oh my god that's hilarious and they so got to use that oh that's, that's, <laughs> that's really funny you know, oh. so she had famous directors and other famous <laughs> actors like Krithik Roshan and whatever. <laughs> you know, she's like, just say this. Just say it. And they're like, okay. <laughs> so funny. I mean, it's just crazy. Oh, like, so cute. I love I know. that. I love it. So um, let's see. What I have all of these notes about this film because it was just so funny watching um watching this film again and catching so many of the the different things in it um what i'd like I, to like real quick I'm just yeah, interrupt no. um so it starts off it's pretty comedy light da, da, da. Mm -hmm. so what i've noticed in a lot of indie films is they do this and it always kind of blows me away they start off with this fun whatever and it takes this u-turn boom mm -hmm. there's this halfway point where all of a sudden things get really serious and really sad and tragic and horrible and you're like what what yeah. so i have this big all caps you turn yeah <laughs> in the middle of my notes because wow. it was like what is happening so i just want to point out like i always love that because then the movie i, I think got really competitive like it, it was sort of fun and goofy and you're watching it going, right. ah, what is it? and then did that and you're like all of a sudden you're riveted like oh stakes stakes are high what's happening now what is yeah. where is it going you know yeah so i yeah. love and it all of a sudden because unexpected yeah. well and i i've learned to expect it now because so many um, all Indian films, they're mm -hmm. giving you a mix of emotions. That's yeah. kind of when somebody calls something a masala film, <clears throat> it's a mix of spices. It's a mix of everything. <laughs> okay. And they're, and they're, and the interval point is an exclamation mark. This is not uh, a three act structure. Right. It's no. more like a six act structure, especially this film, right? Yeah. Because you yeah. definitely have mm -hmm. two very different halves, right? Yeah. And in tone and everything. And yeah. and you're right, you have so much comedy, but yeah. then also really deep melodrama. Yeah. You just have everything in, in yeah. this film. And um besides all the fun little Easter eggs that Farah yeah. put in, um, and you know, film cameos and little inside jokes and yeah. whatever, even even a joke about film camera angles of different yeah. famous directors, you know. I love that. Um, so, so you have just all of it. And I, I kind of love that. Like if you're going to have mm -hmm. a three hour movie, take me on yeah. a ride, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, like don't have it just be all same, same, same. <laughs> and that, that's the adjustment I think for Western audiences. Cause we're based in a very three act structure. Right. You have your opening and then you have the middle part and then you have the climax at the end of the film. So that's what we're sort of led to expect. That's why when I yeah. think when you watch Indian films, you get, you get kind of thrown off course, which is also really in reinvigorating. Right. Cause you're like, Oh, I guess it's almost over now. What, what, what happened? And then all of a sudden you're in this whole new world and you're like, I, I don't know what to think. So I love right. that because you don't, you can't 
relax into your three act structure for watching films. Cause you're like, okay, here's that big opening scene. Here's what the thing is. Right. I love that. So I, that's I been a, a big it. discovery that I love. And I, and I love it too. And that's one of the things that's kept me watching and loving mm -hmm. Indian films mm -hmm. <clears throat> is because I get a little bit of everything. Yeah, right. You do. You know, um, you know, we're gonna watch Patan coming out in a couple of yeah. weeks. And I know it's a big action movie, but I know there's gonna be some comedy lines. I yeah. know uh not just some this little snarky half a line. I mean, there'll be some funny moments, <laughs> and I'm gonna get some sexy songs. We've already yeah. seen the sexy songs. Maybe a little too sexy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> apparently things had to be cut a little too much for people <laughs> but you know what i mean i mean i don't yeah. know if there's going to be a full-on romance in it or not yeah. but you know it it's it's going to give me a little bit of everything and so right. i i love that because how many action movies do we see in hollywood where we get none of that it's just nope unrelenting action yeah. action action no moment to breathe even no, no moment to and that's a different kind of a roller coaster ride you know yeah. like uh you know i'm not saying i don't watch those films because i do but yeah. i enjoy kind of having this different tempo different u-turns mm -hmm. yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you know we should put it like i like that it's kind of you know it's a different kind of a ride and i it's one that i like it and that's why i mm -hmm. keep coming back i come yes. back now Dipika, Dipika put a cone um, plays the part of someone who has to hide their marriage. Yeah. And yeah. let me tell you that this was something that was still kind of a stigma until present day. Okay. You think, oh yeah, that was just the seventies. No, yeah, I know. <laughs> she actually is one of the women who is breaking that model. Oh. Um, her marriage to Ranveer Singh um, and then she's continuing to work, right? So, oh. so, so it was definitely a stigma that um, women hid their relationships in Bollywood. Oh, okay. They might had secret marriages. That was a real thing because yeah. I don't know. People needed to only be able to fantasize about yeah. them as the single. So that was definitely a thing, um, and it's becoming less and less. And it's only really like I feel like in the last five to seven years that that mold is really being completely <sighs> shattered. Yeah. And um, actresses like Anushka Sharma, but especially Deepika, who's like, yeah, yeah I'm married and I'm going to continue working and I'm going to continue pairing up with sexy people like Sharuk and it's all fine. <laughs> you, know? you don't have to be disappointed. Oh, she's a married woman. What is she doing? It's like, just relax, people. <laughs> it's right. Amazing. Right. So she, she is one of the people. And so I kind of love that yeah. I was thinking about that as I was watching this movie here, she is playing somebody who had right. to hide their marriage. And then she's one of the people who is really blowing that wide open and like, no, I'm not stopping with my career. I, have, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, first of all, you have, we have to get past that, that structure. And also I think it helps it for the studios to see that these women are still bringing box office. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if they're married and they're in a, and the student takes a chance going, okay, we're going to cast her, but even though she's married and everybody knows it, we're going to see what happens and film still does well. They'll be like, Oh, well, let's just keep yeah. hiring women who are married. <laughs> it's no big right. deal. We right. can do that. I mean, it's like, that's, that's where I'm hoping it's going to kind of relax a little because that's yeah. that sort of thing. I mean, we had the same thing in Hollywood back in the day where, everybody had to keep these secret lives and, and they were under contract and they couldn't do certain things or they couldn't let anyone know they were doing these certain right. things. And, right. You know, it was, yeah. it, it's pretty brutal. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it's all mostly women. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and gay actors maybe oh, still God. to this day have Very to deal much with so. that. Right. In Hollywood. Right. Um, well, they don't want to cast a gay actor as a straight person. And now right. they're kind of getting past that. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> thank goodness. Uh, yeah. Thank goodness we're getting past those days too. But <laughs> But I think, you know, is uh, Dipika, this is her debut film. Like, mm. so I have seen her act better in yeah. subsequent films as she right. gained more experience. Yeah. Um, another thing for Sharuk is he has made his female co-stars the first billing um, at the beginning so cool. credits, um, cool you know, which is, is nice. And um, frequently if somebody's debut, it says introducing, you know, so, um, you know, this is their first film. That's so great. But um, yeah, there's so many supporting actors in this, like Kieran Kerr, mm. who plays his mother mm -hmm. uh, of, the, of the 70s. Like, she's been yeah. in so, <laughs> so um, many she Always the mother in every film I see, I think. Pretty much. <laughs> I think she's yeah. I'm like, there she yeah. is again. <laughs> 
Yeah. So she funny. she uh she has been the mother in so many films. Her her husband is a famous actor too on a film oh. here. She's married? Who no one told me that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I but I I unabashedly love her and I, like I mean she just brings the comedy gold to every mother She's part good. that she plays. <laughs> so <laughs> so funny. So I love it. I, I love her. But so um, yeah, there's so many um, cameos in this film. Like literally I looked at the Wikipedia article. I'm like, oh my God, this list. Just I know. I was looking. I can't keep up with all these people. And on and on. It's I just crazy. assumed everyone on screen was someone. I just didn't know who they were. Because I was like, <laughs> Almost. there's so many people in this movie that I'm, I'm not Almost. getting it, but I'm going to keep watching it. Okay. And how much did you love? This was my sales pitch to Kathy for this film was I, I sent her a gift of dart to disco because all of the bollywood films where a woman has to be scantily clothed yes. and do an item song yep. frequently it can be someone who has nothing to do with the rest of the plot of the nope. film but it's just brought in to do a sexy song in a cabaret or you know a gambling den or whatever <laughs> and 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 so here we have she made sharuk the item <laughs> do the item song it's funny you say that because i have a note here that says damn in all caps song with shirt open jacked <laughs> that's what i wrote down i'm like what it was kind of shocking because you're right i was kind of like okay here comes the scene with it what what <laughs> okay <laughs> how many yeah. plain chicken breasts and broccoli did you have to eat seriously I mean, how long right? did you have to like take that diet down to strip all that away good lord that was amazing and <laughs> the man is 57 years old and he's doing it again for Madonna, like I know it's amazing. I mean, you know, and everybody's like, it's impossible. I'm like, even I was like, or is this CGI? I mean, it seems enhanced, but it, it is possible for men to yeah. do this. You just have to be, and I'm apparently sure, it's I'm sure, and he yeah, does I'm it sure it's life. enhanced with makeup and a little yes. bit of CGI. I have and so feeling, is everyone. <laughs> but yeah. Still have well, to be and there. it's not, I mean, it's not just the abs. I'm sure yeah. they're removing eye wrinkles and all sorts of things in different yeah. scenes, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. It just it's just the way that you're on the screen have at it you know if we have the technology to make you look good on film i would say take advantage of it <laughs> <laughs> why not but it's amazing that he still feels that he needs to do that like at, yeah. at you know at age 57 he's coming mm -hmm. back and I, it's not just an action movie where he's going to be covered with the bulletproof vest right yeah. like he's like no. It's funny because the trailer, I felt like I'm a little gypped here because this trailer does not show him at all. No shirt off at all. Then you get like a tiny glimpse of him in the songs. I'm like, what's going on? He obviously can show more if he wants to. And he's not. He's just being stingy. <laughs> he's holding back for some reason. Sharuk, Sharuk is a giver. You're going like, to <laughs> We'll get more. Yeah, he's a giver. And, and essentially yeah. that is one of the interesting things about Bollywood films is that the songs become trailers, right? Yes. Even if it has nothing to do with the plot. That's right. It is a very different marketing machine than Hollywood, right? Really because, is. okay, there may be somebody famous, Rihanna, or somebody famous has done the latest Bond song or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's like a separate thing. It's yeah. not really part of the marketing machine no. before a movie comes out right. in the same way that it is for Indian films. I know. And it doesn't matter if the song has nothing to nope. do with the plot or if most of the, the movie is set in India and the song is a fantasy sequence set in Mallorca. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll we'll take it. It's pretty. Give me the entertainment. That's all I want. But, you know, that's what right. I am impressed by Indian movies because I do entertainment marketing. And when I see this, I'm like, man, they are just, they are working the content. Like so much of that is like, and I feel like it's, it's crowd pleaser stuff in the movie too, to see the song, yeah. but the song is also part of they When they do that, they're thinking, okay, this will be a great marketing tool. This will right. be a great marketing tool. And so that's important to marketing because there's so much competition. So if you're going to have, you know, SRK in a movie that he has a shirt off a little bit and you're like, Hey, let's do two songs where he's doing that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. It's like, I why mean, not? They get repeat business. Mm -hmm. I mean, back in the day before there was YouTube, yeah, this is how movies That's played right. for weeks and weeks and weeks in India is because people would go back to see the songs again. Right. Literally, yeah. they would go until the song came on and then they would go home. Like, I, I mean, they that. were there, they were there just to see that song over and over again. And, and the songs um, are becoming a highlight for me. Like I, I was thought I'd be oh, disorienting because yeah. they see like these songs come out of nowhere and sometimes they have nothing to do with anything. Now I I can't wait to see him. Where's the song? Where's the song? And if one doesn't have it, I'm like, it doesn't have a song in it. <laughs> it's like, why does it have a song in it? And people are right. like, doesn't it have those weird songs from Dad? I the weird songs are the thing that make these movies. <laughs> They're so good. 
Well, you know what? I mean, it, Hollywood used to do that, right? That's right. Like, okay. So I mean, this was uh, this film was an homage to Singing in the Rain right. in some ways. And, yeah. you know, Hollywood used to do it like nobody else, right? Oh, yeah. And and we, it's so rare to get yeah. a musical in Hollywood. It, it is. I mean, thank you, Hugh Jackman, for existing. <laughs> <laughs> what would we do without him? <laughs> You know, um, because if he didn't kind of put his stardom behind certain musicals getting made, yeah, you know, um, La La Land, I felt like had some of the joy of yeah. Bollywood films. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of the song, but the one, early in La La Land, there's when she's getting ready to go out to a party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like they blow, you know, they use the hair dryers to kind of yeah. blow their hair back. And there's just this whole sequence and it was super fun. And yeah. again, that was a love, uh, love song. Or, you know, oh. I mean, it was a love letter to Hollywood musicals. Yeah. And it's like, we don't have, it's so rare for us to get that joy. And there's also yeah. this film, you know, you're watching at home, you know, I, there's something special about seeing it on the big yeah. screen, right? Yeah. Like seeing these songs. Like I stay for those end credit, oh, me too. you know, oh, songs, yeah. right? Like I see everybody else trooping out and I'm like, I see a lot of men in the audience like getting up. Oh, this is my bathroom break when it's a yeah. song. I'm like, no, this is what I'm here no, for, people. This is, a good this time. is it. <laughs> this is the main <laughs> amount right now. They make it worthwhile to sit through it. Even though you've been through a three and a half hour movie, you want to stay for an extra five minute song at the end. It totally works. <laughs> I'll do it every time. <laughs> so, I mean, it may be the one time that everybody gets all together. <laughs> exactly. You don't know who you're going to see at this end credit. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but I, you know, and also I think it work, really works in this film because it is sort of about fantasy and it's about filmmaking mm -hmm. and making dreams. And, and so yeah. when they have that and they, they have the sort, is it real or not real? And the song comes in and you're like, is it real or not real? It could be a fantasy. It could be right. a, an homage. It could be meta. We don't know, but it always works, especially in this movie. Yeah. It works in the context of like, it's about entertainment for entertainment yes. and then yeah. being entertaining. And they even have the scenes where this is the classic setup. We've seen it a million times where he overhears a conversation at the end, the terrible conversation. And he's like, Oh my God. And you're like, dude, you got to know rehearsing actors when you see it. <laughs> Come on, man. And he got all upset. And I'm like, that's what I love though. It's all about that. Is it real or not real? And then you throw in the music and it's perfect. It's a perfect yeah. movie. <laughs> Well, I'm really glad that you enjoyed Om Shanti Om. <laughs> it was such a great suggestion for the first one that you told me to watch. It was like perfect because you, like you said, it's it's Shah Rukh at his prime. Yeah. It's like super entertaining. It's about movie making. It was just a perfect movie to kick me off. I loved it. Yeah, and it gives you, <laughs> it gives you a sense of, um, you know, Shah Rukh doesn't often um, kiss his actresses on scene in, mm. in movies, okay? Mm -hmm. But he is known for, he's so sexy in the songs. Yeah. Like he has yeah. the signature thing where he's kissing their collarbone and their necks. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter how many times that I see it. I'm like, oh my God. Signature move. <laughs> It I is besides the yeah, I have it in behind me. Oh yeah, there it, it is. is. Besides, besides <laughs> so that funny. signature That's move. It's I love you that. Know, it, it's it's like, his I'm here. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean so yeah, you need to see um he did this movie with uh called uh, Veer Zara okay. and um oh my god there's this sort of a fantasy song sweet sequence where he's fallen in love with this girl from pakistan for movie reasons they made i'm like i'm not even gonna go into <laughs> the whole plot <laughs> okay doesn't matter it's for the movie she, anyway. she's taking her nani's uh ashes to india you know because it's post partition where she's taking it back and he rescues yeah. her in a helicopter it's a whole thing okay that sounds like a dream come true <laughs> but she when she goes back home and she has an arranged marriage um she's preparing for the wedding and she has the steam scenes because every time she sees she's envisioning Sharuk is there like oh. that it's her groom but then it's actually him she's preparing and he sneaks under her veil and like, oh that's so funny oh, ah! <laughs> it is the sexiest song that's oh my okay. god <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch that yeah, send that to me so i, I will send that to you <laughs> anyway i'm glad you uh you uh you learn what makes Sharuk so great and you know like just that magic mix that he has between comedy 
um, serious acting, doing the musical numbers, the whole yeah. package. <laughs> well, I love so, that you suggested it, but you didn't give me any of this background. So I was able to just go into it blind, which really yeah. let me enjoy it on its I pure didn't, level. Didn't, yeah. And then I love talking to you afterwards and hearing about deeper levels to it and makes me want to watch yeah. it again. Right. And I didn't have any of that the first time. Like I said, mm -hmm. it may have been one of the first five Shah Rukh Khan movies that I saw. Yeah. And so I didn't know any of that either. And I didn't recognize most of his co-stars. Right. But I think at the time, maybe only Kajal, you know, in that big yeah. song, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> it's like, I see how far I've come where I'm like, I get the inside joke when his friend is, you know, after he'd saved Ipica and he says, oh, he's a Madras king. I'm like, I get it that he's saying that Sharuk <laughs> is a big actor in the South industry come up mm -hmm. to do Bollywood. Like, That's right. so many, like, like so many do. I'm like, exactly. I, over my head the first time I saw it, <laughs> so but funny. now like I'm on the floor laughing. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. It's just so many, so many different depths to this movie. And I, I like it on its surface level and I love it now even more with all this extra detail. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kathy, Thank for uh, joining me for this. We so have fun. another Shah Rukh Khan movie that we're going to discuss. It's next. part of my ongoing education for us. Right. <laughs> so we are going to talk about Kabikuchi Kabigam in the upcoming uh, video. So uh, I will link to that when that one is out so you can see it. Thanks, see Kathy. Bye.